Hello and welcome to the course Enter Next Level Bot Building with SAP Intelligent RPA 2.0. PDF is one of the most used formats by numerous individuals and organizations to exchange information. It is widely used to create business related documents and therefore plays an important part in most process automations. So this unit will cover PDF document automation using inbuilt feature of SAP Intelligent RPA. So let's get started. Intelligent RPA 2.0 introduced PDF SDK, which allows you to extract data from the documents with the help of user-friendly and convenient activities. It's part of the Cloud Studio and can extract text from machine readable or generated PDFs. These activities are easily configurable and designed with a low code, no code approach. Apart from extracting the information using the configurable parameters, fields from invoices can be extracted intelligently. And the best part of PDF SDK is that it has a quick execution. So these PDF activities are divided into four categories. Core activities, which are the simple activities that return the result as text and not in complex format. But on the other hand, advanced activities, they return the result in complex formats. And the third one is the filters. So these filters, they act as funnel and restrict the extraction to a specific part of the page. And the fourth one is invoice activities. So these invoice activities, they extract fields from invoices without the need of specifying search patterns or strings. So in this slide, you can see a sample bank application form. So the aim of this PDF, acti so aim of the PDF activities would be to extract information from this bank application form, which is a PDF. So let's start with the core activities. So the most important ones are open PDF and close PDF uh, activities. These are the mandatory activities and should be used before and after the PDF extraction activities. The open PDF activity, it accepts the PDF path. And if the PDF is protected by a password, you can provide password as the input parameter. And it will, and then the extraction of data could take place. One of the core activity is get text activity. So as the name says, get text. So it returns the complete text out of the PDF. In the third image, the output can be seen as the value of text content variable. Another useful activity is get text after activity. For example, you want to return a text after a specific string, you can use a get text after activity, which allows users to fetch the text after a specified search string. The activity allows you to control the number of words to be extracted using the num words parameter. So in this slide, the activity searches for the string job situation and then retrieves the value after the specific search string. But please note, the words are segregated using the space delimiter. The sequence of word is dependent upon the index numbers assigned by the library during the text extraction. Some of the other core activities are described in this slide. So now we have successfully extracted simple strings like job situation or first name using the core activities. But now the question arises, how do you extract text from a table? For example, we want to extract the residential status of, of the applicant and the values, namely country of residence, nationality and the passport number. So this is where the, the problem of extracting table data is solved using the advanced activity called get table column entries. So this activity, it allows the extraction of table data using the different configurable parameters. So column data here serves as a starting point of the extraction, which in our case is answer. 
and the text below table is the stopping point so that means the angel will start from the starting point till the till a stopping point and everything inside the starting and the stopping point though that data will be extracted so text below table parameter is optional and is only required when there is some text so, so if there is some more text after the table to make the extraction more precise add some left and right offset another advanced activity is search text items activity so this is a really useful activity because it returns all the text items with a message ma with a matching string for example we want to grab all the text items containing the search string as name so you know the first name and the last name contains the substring name so it will return first name and last name text items but now you can you might be thinking like what is a text item so here the text item is a complex data type which returns different parameters which is word width height and other parameters so that is why it is part of the advanced activities and the search text items it returns all the properties of a specific text item so some of the um, activities which are under the advanced modules are in the slide so now let's move to filters so as we have discussed before filters they restrict the extract the extraction to a specific part of the page in this if we want to restrict the activities which can be core or advanced to a specific area of a page we can apply filters just before starting the activities and all the underlying activities will be restricted to ex to extract from a specific part of the page here in the example you can see you have the complete pdf but you put the filter upper half of the page filter and after putting the filter upper half of the page it just restricts the extraction to the upper half of the page so the activities can be restricted based on the page numbers as well for example we just want to extract from pages 2 to 6 you can use that using the filter pages uh, activity Another use case could be that we want to extract the data from second page but just from the lower part of the page. You can use the lower, lower half of the page prop, uh, filter and then you specify the page number and then you can just extract from that specific part. Similarly, restrictions can be applied to left side, right side and upper half of the page. But these restrictions can be removed using the clear filter property. And the last module or the last set of activities are the invoice activities. So these invoice activities, they allow automatic extraction of fields from invoices using inbuilt dictionary. It supports four languages, which is English, German, French, and Spanish. This dictionary can be extended using the additional words parameter. So let's see an example. In this example, we want to extract the invoice number from the invoice. So the languages and the search word parameters are optional. If no values are given, English is treated as the default language and built-in dictionary will be used. So in this case, we want to extract the invoice number and we have provided the languages as English and German and we have given the additional search word as custom invoice field. And then after this activity you will it will return the invoice number inside the invoice some of the invoice activities which could be used to extract the information from invoices are in the slide So now we have learned about different activities which can be used to extract information from PDF. Let's see a demo to visualize the power of PDF SDK. So in this first demo we will see how we can extract the information from PDF or an invoice which is in the form of PDF. So to start with the extraction let's create a new automation by clicking on create and then click on automation. 
let's give it a name invoice extraction and then click on create so once you click on create it automatically add packages which are required to run an automation since this is a specific module and it extracts information from pdf so we have to add the dependency to pdf sdk to add that let's go in the dependencies tab and then click on manage dependencies and then add dependency here you will see there is a specific package related to pdf so the package is named as sap intelligent rpa pdf sdk so once you add this dependency all the activities related to pdf will be visible in the right hand side so let's select a version and then click on add so now the activities will be available in the activities panel to start with the pdf extraction the first and the foremost activity is open pdf so let's click on open pdf or let's search for open pdf you drag and drop the open pdf and here we have to provide the path of the invoice so let's quickly see what's how what's the invoice look like so this is an invoice where you have the purchase order number you have the invoice number VAT registration number you have the invoice date and there are few line items inside the invoice and then in the end there is a subtotal so the purpose of this demo is to extract the PO number invoice number VAT registration number date and total also we can also extract the bank information which can be seen here as the EBAN number so let's try how we can extract these values so inside the open PDF let's give the path to the specific invoice inside the PDF path parameter and then we search for the invoice activities so if you go inside the activities in the activities you will see that there are some invoice activities which can be used so let's drag and drop get invoice number and then get invoice date let's take the net amount and also let's get the purchase order number and then maybe let's let's try to get the invoice date and so the invoice date is duplicated so let's delete this one so in the end when you when you close the activities so an important activity which needs to be added is the close pdf so let's search for the close pdf close pdf and release resources and this is it so if we open one of these activity get invoice number you can see here that you can provide list of languages so the languages which you can provide is english german french and spanish but for example you want to provide english and german you can just give a list like this for now we don't want to provide any language or additional search word so in this case it will use english as the default language and there will be no additional search words that means the built-in dictionary will be used so now we have drag and dropped all the activities and then we click on save let's test the automation on our machine let's check the environment we click on test so here you can see that it has automatically extracted all the values let's see the values which has been extracted so if you click on the invoice number there is this invoice number which is which it has extracted from the invoice then is the invoice date net amount inside the invoice purchase order number and then in the end is the close and release pdf so here you can see that it has successfully extracted all the values out of the pdf in the first demo you have successfully seen how we can how we extracted the data from the invoices but now let's see how we can use the filters to solve some problems so let's see a problem statement so 
In this bank application form, you can see an applicant has filled all the details like first name, last name and all the other details. You can see there is a detail called email but in the end of the form there is another one which is the same uh, string which is email but it's the email of the bank. But now here the problem statement is that you don't want to grab the email of the applicant but instead you want to grab the email of the bank. So here you can, you can see that the email of the bank is on the lower half of the page. To tackle such kind of scenarios, we can use the filters. So let's see how we can achieve that. So let's create an automation. Let's name it bank application and click on create. The first and the foremost thing is to open the PDF. So let's drag and drop open PDF and provide the PDF path inside the open PDF, which would be this. And then we use the filters. So that means we search for the filter and then we drag and drop the filter lower half of the page. Since we saw the email is on the lower half of the page, we dra dragged the filter page lower half. And we provide the page number since it's just a single page PDF, we provide the page number as one. And now the, all the activities under this filter will be performed on that specific filtered page. So that means every activity will be performed only on the lower half of the page. So let's try to grab the email. So let's try using the get text after activity. Let's name it as get bank email and search string would be the email because we want to get the value which is after the email search string and the number of one the words would be one and we click on we click before clicking on save let's first close the pdf okay so now let's save the automation and run the automation to test if the automation is correctly defined So now you can see inside the get bank email, you can see that it has automatically grabbed the value which is on the lower half of the page. So we have solved our problem that how you can grab the values which are at the different part of the page or the values which are duplicate in a single page or, or a single PDF.